Why are you back so soon? I left Victoria in charge. Got more important things to focus on. Thank you. I'm really proud of you. I can't think why. It takes a great deal of courage to do what you're doing. That's not what Val reckons. Eggs and bacon are on the table. Are they? Don't sound so surprised. I know today is not going to be easy, but no excuse for an empty stomach. Eh? Why should you be nice all of a sudden? Mercy. Cheers. It was breakfast, did you? Nope. She had a full English before she started demolishing the stock. Um, the pasta sell-by date. You got one? Uh, a bit early for me, thanks. Is that your way of saying I'm fat? Alicia, in what way are you fat? <sighs> oh, I'm sorry. I know. I'm just a bit, you know, silly love with Andy. And who told you that? Well, you're not exactly I did it, are you? Come on. I think Prince Charming's getting impatient. Hey, Do you know, life just falls into your lap, doesn't it? How long does it take to buy a pan of milk? You know, not always. He leaves toenail clippings in the bath. Mm. I'm not following this conversation. Try to cheer Alicia up. No, you're getting on my nerves. Everybody gets on your nerves at the moment. Can we go now? Yeah, I think we better. <laughs> Thanks. Goodbye. Bye. Hey! Um, excuse me. I am just as sad and unloved as you are at the moment. All right, come on. Thank you. Um, why aren't you ready for school? I'm poorly. Oh, come on, mate. You're going to wildlife park today. You don't look very poorly. I am. <clears throat> right, well, go on then. You better spend the rest of the day in bed. Handles like a dream. Only 85,000 on the clock. Oh, that sounds quite a lot. Not for a Mercedes, Brenda. It's a classic car. Is that rust? No, I doubt it. No, it's like a bit of dirt. <laughs> oh, I think he's right. I'll take a look. Pray for a miracle, Rodders. And no, he's trying to do a deal with this gentleman here. Won't buy anything off this chancer, mate. That's just a little scratch. No, I'll get that fixed for you. Look, you can't really tell what she's like just by looking at her. Why don't you get behind the wheel and see how she feels? Do you want me to make him a cup of tea? I want you to go away, far away, and take him with you. Nobody wants to buy a rust bucket. She's immaculate. Well, won't you need it for taxiing? Now Carl's not keeping you on. No one's interested in the chauffeur service. <sighs> if I don't sell it, I won't even be able to pay you next month's rent. What do you reckon? I'll have to think about it. Well, don't take too long. He's desperate for the money. What's that smell? Air freshener. Got to make a good impression. How's your head? Much better. Uh, I think I may have slightly overindulged last night. But I'm ready and raring to go if there's any last-minute chores. Uh, everything's in hand. I was wondering, Amy, if you um, wanted one of us to be with you when you signed the papers. Ah. Well, I suppose I don't blame you for not trusting me. It's not like that. No, no. Maybe I'll go into town or something if you don't want us around. Don't make her feel bad. I'm not trying to. I just want what's best for you. I hate it when we fall out. So do I. You are a brave young woman, no matter what you decide. Look, maybe it wouldn't be such a bad idea if you were there. Are you sure? Thank you. I wish it was always like this. They both passed with flying colours. Oh. 
past what? She took the twins to the dentist. Oh, where would you be without her, eh? Not joined at the hip. Are we? No. Well, it's a pity you missed the mm. memorial. Still, I don't suppose Terry would have minded. And life goes on, as they say. I was tidy in Jackson's Grove. Oh, well, there you go, then. <laughs> well, if you want to make yourself useful, any cleaning. I'm not working today. I'll see you later, Bob. I expect you will. Hiya. Hiya. Yes, uh, Americano to go, please, Bob. Right you are. Have you ever seen yourself in a Mercedes? Eh? Hey? Well, Rodney's selling his, and you could do a lot worse. It's worth every penny. She's only saying that because she gets half the proceeds. <laughs> if I want a new car, I'll get one off my girlfriend, won't I? Oh, <laughs> yeah, but aren't the cars that uh, Debbie sells a bit dodgy? 120. I doubt she'd rip off the guy she shares a bed with. Oh, you're very trusting, aren't you? <laughs> Cheers, Bob. See ya. Maybe we should offer him a job. Why would he want to work here? Oh, no, not Cameron. Rodney. Oh. I, I, I thought he was working for Jimmy and Carl. No, no, that all ended in tears, apparently. And uh, he covered for me the other day when I went to the cash and carry. Did he? Oh, you're always disappearing halfway through the afternoon. Yeah, fetching the kids from school. And Hazel comes and goes as she pleases. And we do need another pair of hands. And he has got a sort of unique charm about him. I'd be happy to have him behind my counter any day. There's an offer he can't refuse. Hi. What are you doing here? I'm bored. Well, where's Grumpy? Why isn't he looking after you? He's snoring. I want to help you. Well, you can't because it's very dangerous. You have to be careful, you know that, don't you? What do you know about Mercedes? Uh, Sarah, go and wait over there and we'll go for a smoothie in a minute, OK? Yeah. We don't have any merks. I'm thinking of buying Mr Blackstock's. Do you know him? I'd appreciate an expert opinion. Why aren't you on the train? School trips are rubbish. I'm going hunting for rabbits. Want to come? Yeah. This is Kath, the family court advisor. You spoke on the phone. Hi. Hi. I'm Valerie. Just think of me as Amy's mum. Right. What have we got to do? What? Sorry, I thought I'd explained the signing of the papers is a private thing between Amy and Kath. I need to make sure that you're completely OK with what you're doing. I just want Kyle to have a happy life. That's what we all want. It's no guarantee, though, is it? Valerie. What? Well, Amy's not stupid. She spent her childhood in and out of dodgy foster homes. She knows the school. Why don't we leave Amy and Kath to it? A fancy a coffee? I never say no. Right. Well, uh... We'll be over there, out of the wing. I suppose that's OK. I'm only here for moral support. Is that all right with you? Of course she is. Can we let Amy speak for herself? You can tell me to get lost if you want. It's fine. I have to emphasise that you're strictly here as an observer. Right, then. There's only 60,000 on the clock, and the gearbox is brand new. I sort of just wanted some sound advice. Honestly, second-hand taxis are never a wise move. And Rodney drives like a maniac. You won't get a better deal. Listen, you ever think about it? I just need to check on my daughter. Sarah? Is there anything else you need to know before we sign? I just want to get on with it. Right. Well, we need your signature here. What's wrong? Nothing. Your hand's shaking. I'm not sure this is a good idea. Mrs Pollard. She hasn't got a clue what she's doing. Well, don't. Have you not heard what she's been saying? There's no going back, Amy. You sign there and you condemn Kyle to a life in care. It could be ages before they find him a permanent home. Look, have you learned nothing from your own experience? You said you would be on my side. I am. Unlike Eric and unlike this vulture here, she can't wait to snatch Kyle away from you. Well, as her legal guardian, I refuse to let you coerce her. I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to ask you to leave. <laughs> This is my house. Valerie! She doesn't know what she's doing. Yes, I do. I've always known, but you don't listen. Sorry, she's going to have to leave. Shall we step outside? Right. Come on, come on, come on. No, come on. No, don't you touch this me. This is not the way to do things. Mr. 
Maybe we should leave this to another time. No. This is what I want. She's made her choice. Only because she listened to the wrong people. A little piece of me died this morning. Oh, for God's sake, Val, nobody died. If she'd really wanted that baby, I would have found him in the telephone box, would I? And look where your good Samaritan act's got us now. Should be him that you're concerned about. Who asked your opinion? She's right. I am only concerned about Amy. She's made a massive mistake. How come I'm the only person who can see it? Right, love. Yeah. What's that doing there? Zach's on his way in. I'll be in at 12, have my pint ready. <sighs> Can't even wait two minutes. How desperate's that? So she, after yesterday. Lager? No, I'm not stopping. Well, what'd you come back for then? Well. See me? I've got the wood for the shelf you're going to put up for me. Oh, right, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> I'm rubbish at DIY. So. so, no time like the present. And if you do a good job, I'll make you egg and chips. All right. You look like you needed rescuing. Yeah, thanks. That's a sandwich. David's expecting us. Oh, I'm sure he wouldn't mind you having a bit of time off, eh? Yeah, but I just want to get back to normal. If I'll let us. She's really going to hate me after this, isn't she? Yeah, of course not. I'll talk to her. What good'll that do? She hates you just as much. I've really messed things up for you, haven't I? You'd be better off without me. Nonsense. You did what was right for you and for Kyle. And if. Valerie can't see that, well, uh, that's her problem. She's not down there. Did you look on the bridge? I've looked everywhere. Well, somebody must have seen her. I only took my eyes off her for two minutes. Well, look, she wouldn't have gone far, right? Hey, have you seen our dear? She sneaked out of the house. What the hell is going on? Eh? We've lost Sarah. Well, that was like our fault. Oh, you're telling me it's a coincidence? You have let your son run off with her. I didn't let him do anything. He's meant to be in bed. Oh, what kind of a mother are you? Oh, come on, let's not get carried away. Sarah! She better not be hurt. Bob's got the right arm with me. So I didn't go to the memorial service. He feels I've let him down. What? You do loads for him? Yeah, I know, but, yeah. He really wanted me to be there and... I think I'm being selfish. Is that what you said? Well, not in so many words, but... I couldn't... I just couldn't face going to the church, you know, listening to Ashley. Just bring it all back. Not that it's ever gone. I don't suppose it ever will. No. Look, it's only a bit of mud. No, he pushed it into a puddle. I never. She fell. She's got a mark. I think we should take her to the hospital. We'll, we'll put an ice pack on it. She'll be all right. Jake, why did you run off with her? You shouldn't have left her on her own. Don't you start. Oh, come on, let's not have a cat fight. Well, Debbie's right. You know how poorly she is. I'm disappointed in you. Andy. Sorry. Don't argue. Listen, you can't run off without telling anybody. You need to remember that. I hate being polite. I'm not allowed to do anything. It's not fair. Come on, let's get him on. What do you say? Sorry. Yeah, not as sorry as you're going to be. Come on. This is my fault. She'll be fine. Don't beat yourself up about it. Come on. What's the joke? <clears throat> oh, we're just talking about Fernandez. Who? Jay. Malaga, 1991. <laughs> you dressed as a bullfighter to impress the senoritas. Oh, right. Did you, Paul? No. No, he can't even speak. He won his buddy. <laughs> well, that has to go in the speech. It's already penciled in. 
Well, Charity's done far worse when she's been out on the lash. Really? What like? Ah, I am sworn to secrecy. Yeah, it's a pity you can't do a speech, really, isn't it? I'm sure Jay knows about all Charity's darkest secrets. Yeah, he likes to think so. Same again. I need to get back to Nicola. Oh, I hope we're not too time with my mate here. Yeah, me and Nicola are going to discuss petty cash. See you later. <laughs> Don't let Nicola wear you out. Right. So, come on then. What? This is the bloke that you refused to marry and now all of a sudden you're madly in love. Am I? Oh, yes, I can see the signs. Either that or lust. Does he have some kind of hidden talent I should know about? No. No, although he does have a rather interesting mole. Oh, where? Use your imagination. <laughs> ah, so you're not sorry that you turned down his proposal? No, of course not. But you need to get a love life of your own. Tell me something I don't know. Thanking you. <laughs> Go and get in the car. I hate wildlife park. Well, that's not where you're going. You're having classes with year one this afternoon. I'm not five years old. Yeah, well, you should have thought of that before you went skiving. Miss Partridge is waiting for you. Hiya. Go on. I don't suppose you've got the number of that adoption agency, have you? What's that supposed to be? Oh, mean? nothing. She's not having a go. So? Did you get the paper signed? Yeah. It's all official. He's not mine anymore. You okay? Why does everyone keep asking that? Because you don't look okay. Yeah, well, it's not Carol that I'm worried about. Isn't it? You know how many of my, like, really good mates? I can't afford to give you a pair, I've no, told. I don't want one. I need a favour. A big one. Hello. Hi. Do you want a brew? I've got fish and chips for me and the girls. All right? Sarah had a bit of a fall. What? Is she OK? Yeah, yeah, she's, she's fine now. I thought you'd gone back to work. Well, after everything that happened, I... Well, Cameron's here now. All the same. Andy, she knows how much you love her. You don't need to be here 24-7. I didn't realise I was overstaying my welcome. That is not what I'm saying. It's fine. No problem. Enjoy your chips. What was that about? He's just worried about Sarah. What, and I'm not? Why didn't you phone me? Yes. All right. I'm sorry. She just ran off. I didn't know what I was doing. OK. She's safe now. So, how did you get on with your fellow this morning? Uh, he decided to look elsewhere. His loss? Well, it's yours, really. Brenda's been telling us he's strapped for cash. I was talking to him about giving you that job back. It wouldn't budge. He wasn't up to it. I knew he wouldn't be. So, why did you give him a trial? I was doing him a favour, Alan. I was the one doing the favour. How do you mean? It doesn't matter. Any road, good news. I've had a word with Robert, and he says there's a position here for you, if you're interested. Wow. Trainee barista. That's right up your street, that, Rodders. I don't think so. Well, at least think about it. We're trying to take pity on you here. I don't need pity. I said I'd do that. Go and boil a ham or something. Oh, come on, <laughs> What's done is done. And aren't you just cock a hoop? Why can't you respect Amy's wishes? You respect mine. If you'd stuck by me, we could have made her see sense. It's what she wanted. And everything has to be about what a confused teenager wants, does it? I can't talk to you when you're like this. Good, because I've got nothing to say. Oh, don't tell me. He's here to help her drown her sorrows. He's come with me to the bar to fetch me stuff. Stuff? Yeah, she's moving in with me. Kind of temporary-like. Over my dead body. You and Erin need to be on your own for a bit. He's the last person I want to be alone with. I forbid you to leave. I'm sick of you telling us things. I can't take it anymore. Come on. Do something. Maybe it's better like this. 
Oh, come on. He's been sniffing around her since Leela dumped him. What? You, is she still drunk from last night? Don't act the innocent. It's obvious. In fact, I'm amazed it's taken you so long. We all know how easily she drops her knickers. Think what you want. But I've had enough. Don't look so shocked. The way you've been behaving. How else did you think it was going to end? I didn't want it to be you, of all people. Wait, you think that I... Scoppered my promotion, yes, I do. The question is, why did you do it? Nobody's above suspicion, according to Langton. The drama continues at nine here on ITV1. Next, Steve may rue the day again in Coronation Street.